Good morning, children. Good morning, all of you. How are you all? I think you all are fit and fine. Children, in this session, I am going to discuss with you the second part of the story, A Young Girl and Her Diary. In the first part, children, you have seen that or you have come to know that a young girl, Annie, who is a Jew Jewish girl, during the World War II, she went, she and her family went into hiding just because of the Nazis of the Germany in 1942. But in 1944, just after two years, Nazi police discovered them and sent them to the concentration camp. From there only, now I will start my lesson or story to you. There in the concentration camp, Annie, who missed the company of her friends, had maintained a diary. So, when Annie sent to the concentration camp, there she missed the company of her friend and she started maintaining a diary. Ultimately, the close friend she had during the tragically short life was her diary. So, ultimately what happened during her tragically short life, means during her unhappy and short life, this diary become the closest friend of her. She addressed it as Kitty. That means she addressed the diary as Kitty. It was only to Kitty that she entrusted her innermost thought. Means during her unhappy days, unsatisfied days, it is only the diary that is Kitty that she only trusted and where she has written her innermost thought of her life. Means the hidden core thought of her life. Annie's thought of courage and hope are recorded in her diary. In her diary, she has, she has mentioned her thought of courage as well as hope. Later on, people found that how much inspiring, positive-minded girl she is. And she is having the thoughts of courage that she expressed in her diary. <clears throat> they have inspired million of readers throughout the world. 
they have means here her thoughts her courageous thought her hopefulness her inspiring thoughts have inspired millions of readers throughout the world when the diary was published in a printed format and when the people keep on reading the things then only people come to know how much inspiring courageous girl she is and how much positivity and positive thought she is keeping within her mind here are some excerpts from her diary here beta excerpts are the new word you are coming to know in this line what is the meaning of excerpts the meaning of excerpt is meaning of excerpt is short part that means in the diary which is published which is printed in our course book it is only a short part described over here beta before going to the next page i just want to discuss with you about the word meaning first word is hide out means hiding place hide out means the hiding place next word is concentration camp what is the meaning of concentration camp a place where political prisoners are kept or held published means when the when some written document is printed as a book next word you have come to know through this lesson that is tragically what is the meaning of tragically the meaning of tragically is causing great unhappiness next word is addressed means called that means the diary the annie frank has started written she has addressed the diary as kitty entrusted means confide that means confide means tell someone about a secret or private matter to so what is the meaning of confide the meaning of confide is tell someone about a secret or private matter by believing that person excerpts means short part and despair means hopelessness when the hope of a person gone away the person become hopeless the person does not have any faith or hope in some thing or some on somebody see children 
this is a family picture of annie where she is with her father mother and with her elder sister nice picture isn't it children here are some excerpts from her diary what is the meaning of excerpt excerpt means short part so in our course book some short part of her book is being explained so what she has written on april 5 1944 when i write i can't shake off all my cares what she has written when i write i can shake off means to let go of that means i can remove all my cares what she wanted to write she wanted to write when i write i remove all my cares or i leave not only remove i can say more properly i leave all my cares next she has written in february 3 1944 describing her despair here the children you are getting one more new word that is despair what is the meaning of despair hopelessness that means when a person loses all his hope or all her hopes i have reached the point where i hardly care whether i live or die she has written i have reached the point where i hardly care whether i live or die that means she is so, so much hopeless and disappointed about the life she is saying that at the point she has reached where she hardly care ki she will live or she will die she is thinking that world will keep on turning without me means if she is no more then also world world will move ahead and i cannot do anything to change events anyway and the things are coming within her mind that she is not been able to do anything to change the events means the events will move that way only by following its own direction she is not capable to change the events during the period of world war 2 i will just let matters take their course that means i will allow events to happen as they will that means she is writing i will allow the events whatever is happening the things to happen as they will in their own course of time and she wants to concentrate on studying in a hope that there is a hope in her mind in her mind that everything will be all right in the end see how courageous and how inspiring girl she is during that situation also she is thinking positively and she is thinking that at the end things will come 
to its own path and things will be will become right in the end so this kinds of thought inspired the reader throughout the world when the book has been published in 1947 see children one more rare image of any frank and her family members along with others who has gone for hiding beautiful image isn't it children so i am moving to the next page beta for the description next heading is given on her old country germany on her own country on her old country germany means the old country where she used to live and when she has written this she has written this on october 9 1942 fine specimens of humanity those germans and to think i am actually one of them no that is not true hitler took away our nationality long ago once again i am reading the this sentence fine specimens of humanity those germans and to think i am actually one of them no that is not true hitler took away our nationality long ago who was this hitler hitler was one of the political person who is, who was leading germany during the world war 2 and he belongs to the political party of nazis and you know already nazis has had snatched the identity of jewish people during the world war 2 so in this perspective any is trying to say fine specimens of humanity those germans means germans she wanted to believe that germans are the examples of humanity germans are the actually examples of humanity and i am actually one of them but no that is not true why because long ago hitler only took the jewish people's nationality so any is now no more able to think positively that germans are fine examples of mankind or humanity now the time has reached any is no longer no more able to think that the fact germans are the example of fine 
example or of humanity means they are the good human being why the circumstances and the behavior of nazis ha had forced any to think that way only and besides there are no greater enemies on the earth than the germans and jews so at that moment when the story has been written on the backdrop of world war 2 that time in germany there was biggest enmity in between the germans and the jewish here children you got two new words specimen means example and humanity means mankind see beta this is one of the original page of annie's diary where she has written her pain her grief she has mentioned over here and even then during those worst days she was also hopeful about the things that the things will come to its positive way or things will take a positive shape and at the end everything will be perfectly all right next heading on still believing this is the last portion of the story which is mentioned in our course book and which is written in july 15 1944 what she has written over here it is a wonder i have not abandoned all my all my ideas this seems to absurd and impractical means at that moment only she is thinking it's a wonder during the worst circumstances i have not left all my ideas even then this seems to be absurd ridiculous or unrealistic and impractical understood children so at that moment any was wondering that during the situation only she has have not she has not abandoned means left all her ideas they seems to be the ideas which are unrealistic some sometime ridiculous and impractical also and what is the meaning of ideas the meaning of ideas is principles the principle one person carry within one's mind yet i cling to them because i still believe in spite of everything that people are truly good at heart yet i cling means yet i hold on them means those ideas yet i hold on 
those ideas because i still believe in spite of everything that people are truly good at heart she has written over here ki in spite of whatever is happening during the war period in spite of that also people are truly good by their heart or at heart that's why she is keeping the ideas or the faith or the positivity in her mind now finally i have reached to the last para of the story and before that few word meanings are there i will just share or make you understand specimens what is the meaning of specimens examples examples means specimens humanity humanity means mankind next is abundant abundant means sometime is it is careless or act in a careless manner or left the things ideas means principles absurd means somehow somewhere it is ridiculous ridiculous or somewhere it is unrealistic also cling means hold on holding the things in the mind foundation means base the base of sound thing something that is called foundation chaos term oil or confusion chaos means the term oil and confusion or confusion and next is wilderness means waste land next is beta tranquility the meaning of tranquility is calm or serenity the meaning of tranquility is calm or cool down that means cool down or serenity now i will discuss with you about the last para of the story a young girl and her diary it's utterly impossible for me to build my life on a foundation of chaos suffering and death she here tried to express her pain what the pain she is carrying during this period within her mind it is truly impossible for me to build my life to grow my life it is quite impossible to build my life or grow my life on a foundation of chaos means uncertainty confusion suffering that means the suffering the people at that pe- time who are in the concentration camp the suffering they are facing the things and the death so here only had any expressing her grief for her it is quite impossible to build her life on the foundation of chaos means turmoil pain or confusion suffering as well as death whatever is happening in front of her in the day by day life 
in the concentration camp at that time. I see the world being slowly transformed into wilderness. So, any here finding the things, the world is become slowly transferring towards the wilderness. Means day by, by day, the wild world become wilder. That means world is converted into wasteland. I hear the approaching thunder. Means she is justifying or she is thinking. One thunder is about to approach one day and that thunder will destroy our lives too. Understood children? So, one fear already started within her mind that about a approaching thunder and that thunder is going to end or destroy the life of themselves also. I feel the suffering of millions. Any is feeling the sufferings what the people that time suffering day by day in the concentration camp. How miserable their life was there. Annie was feeling the suffering of the millions of the people of Germany. And yet when I look up at the sky and she written when I look up at the sky, I somehow feel that everything will change for the better and this, this cruelty too shall end. Means within the greatest grief, the miserable condition, even then, she is she's so much positive minded girl. Even then she is thinking in a positive manner that I somehow feel that everything will change for the betterment. That this cruelty too means when everything will change for the betterment then this cruelty also change. And there will be an end of all these shots of cruelty and inhumanity. That peace and tranquility will return once more. That means again in this earth, again in, in Germany, the peace and the tranquility that means calmness will return once again. Here the portion of the story is given in our syllabus book is ending children. And but not the main diaries portion about the Annie Frank's diary. It is a whole book. Whenever you will get time, you just go through the book and read it. It is a nice piece of work. Now, just at the end, I will say you about the story. Annie Frank's diary published 
as Annie Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl in English, has also been published in more than 60 languages all over the world. It is a powerful reminder to the, sorry, it is a powerful reminder of the horrors of war and has continued to inspire millions of people with its resilient portrayal of the human spirit. That means the story is revolving around the courage, faith and human spirit only. If you are having courage, positivity, you can win any of the war that is coming in front of you. You can defeat people with courage, positivity and inspiration. That is the main objective of the story, children. So, I am winding my class, my session here. Bye, children. Take care. And in the next session, we will meet with each other with some new topic. Bye, beta. Take care.